gaming on the iPhone has come such a far way. There's so many fun games on the iPhone, and it's getting to the point where the phone is basically a PC or a console because it's so powerful. With that, iOS 13 has introduced you can now connect controllers to the iPhone. So you can connect an Xbox controller or a PS4 controller. And in this video, I'm going to go through and show you just that. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, carrier conversations, make sure you smack that subscribe button. Really do appreciate it and welcome. With that, let's go ahead and just dive right in and show you exactly how to do this. I will have the configuration on the screen so you can see what you're hitting on the controller as well when the time comes. So first we need to go ahead and go into settings. So we're going to go ahead and choose settings. And from here, we're going to go ahead and choose Bluetooth. Here, if it is turned off, all you would do is go ahead and turn it on. Once it's turned on, it's going to be looking for any device that you want to connect. So this is for wireless controllers that do use Bluetooth because you can't use this with a wired controller unless you get some type of adapter. So to put the PS4 controller into air mode, you just want to hit the buttons that are shown there, the share and the PS4 logo button. If you have any problems like we are right now, just go ahead and turn Bluetooth off. Give it a moment, turn it back on. So what we want to do here is press the PS4 and the share button down for three seconds until the light flashes. Once it flashes, let it go. There we go. Now we see the DualShock 4 wireless controller. Go ahead and select that. For the Xbox, it will be the buttons that I'm showing on the screen as well. Now we are connected with the PS4 controller. So now we can go ahead and start using that PS4 controller as a controller on mobile games. Now keep in mind, the mobile game does have to go ahead and be compatible with the PS4 controller because they are, it's up to the developer to go ahead and put that functionality in there. This came out in iOS 13, so in November of 19. So, the longer it goes, the more developers are going to go ahead and add that functionality. So this should go ahead and get you connected and you should be able to now use it. Give it a try. Also, I am a gamer myself. I have a Fortnite channel. So if you want to check that out, I'll put it at the end here so you can go ahead and stop over and see what it's all about. Here are some other videos I think you'll really enjoy. And thank you so much for the view.